Hi guys. Hello. Hello Lalwani. Hi guys, welcome to another special live session with Pluros Publishers. Today we have behind the book with Mr. Vishal Shevle. Uh hi from India. Hi. Hi. So before we begin this live session, let's just wait for a few more people to join. And uh, before we officially start with the interview, let me just tell you what these live sessions are, why we do what we do. So basically, with these live sessions, we want you guys to meet our authors, to get to know them, and to get to know what they do, why they do, what's the story behind their writing, and everything else that they can tell you. If any of you write as well and wish to get published, you know where to find us. You can visit our website bluerose1.com, DM us or simply give us a call at triple H2 898-898 and we will be there to help you with your journey. So, okay, hi. That's great. So again, today's author uh, is a very special person. So before I introduce you guys to him, let me just call him. Okay, we're just waiting for our author to join us. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you doing? Hello, hi. Am I audible? Good? Uh, yes, sir. You're audible. Amazing, Perfect. yeah. Thank you. Okay, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. How are you? Perfect, sir. So I was just telling our audience uh, about uh, why, again, why we do these the entire backstory behind you uh, and I think again there's an internet connection error but yeah okay perfect so um, let me just give a quick introduction of our author before we start so Mr. Vishal Shivli is the founder of CV to success it's a training platform that specializes in NCP training and professional grooming with over 20 years of experience in various cross-functional roles in the corporate worlds in multinational companies, Vishal Sir is dedicated to motivate and inspire professionals, corporates and entrepreneurs to reach great heights. As the author of Resolution 2.0, here is his book. Uh, so as the author, he shares his insights into achieving a balanced and holistic life. Sir, I would need personal tips on that, honestly. Sure. Okay, so what would you like to say to our audience before we begin? Um, I mean a big thank you uh, to, to you and, and, and uh, publisher Blue Rose uh, for accepting uh, my draft copy and uh, giving me a chance uh, to publish under the ban banner name of Blue Rose Publisher. Uh, you know, and uh, Absolutely, yeah, looking, sir, the pleasure is all hard. looking forward to this exciting session. And yes, Manshika. We are just as excited and related, sir. So let's uh, dive right into it. I have your book here with me, uh, The Resolution 2.0. First of all, the straight up question that comes to my mind, why the name 2.0? Is there a 1.0 as well? <laughs> That's a fantastic question. And uh, so the resolution 2.0 goes in this way. There is no version of book, uh, which is the resolution 1.0. It's already that we know. So why did I keep this name? Uh, because usually we take resolutions that may manifest or may not. Usually it, it does not. And there is a reason behind it uh, because the resolution is not uh, taken in a certain way. That's one part of it. And of course, you require, uh, based on your intensity, uh, your focus and priority shifts. And that what our book speaks on, uh, which is the resolution 2.0, taking the resolution in the in a new way, which is 2.0. And that's what uh, the learning of that book uh, in crux will be to manifest a resolution. And in Sanskrit, the word is called a sankalpa. 
and I have learned this technique uh, of, of manifesting sankalpa or taking a, a, a sankalpa uh, under a, a guidance of a spiritual leader and, and that's where the, the knowledge comes, the core of the knowledge. And of course then I have added a couple of aspects uh, into this book which helps in manifesting this resolution. So yes, uh, yeah, that's how the book uh, name. So you actually believe in the power of manifestation? I, I, I definitely was, yes. Uh, I am uh, 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 a practitioner. Uh, I have learned uh, about power of subconscious mind, and I definitely believe power of manifestation. Well, that's great. So, is that what inspired you to, you know, write this book, The Resolution 2.0 Sankalp? Maybe some incomplete resolutions in your life. Is that what inspired you? I yes uh, yes uh, that's one part of it this if you ask me what inspired me to write this book I would go back about few years back and uh, I remember the day I remember the time it was around afternoon I was alone and uh, you see the books behind uh, the first reason for for me uh, intending to write the book is because uh, not everything that I have read, I'll be very honest, uh, but what happens though is I have at least gone through the books and uh, look what does an author wants to speak in that book. And a couple of books that I have read uh, that gave me a thought, what if I have to tell my life part? What would I tell uh, this community and society, my family, my friends? Uh, and the younger generation and that the wise came is about uh, one was self management. The second one was uh, the Sankalpa uh, technique that I have learned. And I feel that really inspired me. So two things. One is, of course, the books that I've been reading uh, that taught me what would you tell your story if you have to tell in, in any of the day. And, uh, and, and of course, uh, you know, manifesting resolution in, in a certain way, in a holistic way, Like that's my inspiration behind writing a book. Well, that's great. And we also have a question from the audience. Someone is asking, Urban Root Finder is asking us, can you please tell how to deal with office toxicity? Ah, I mean, uh, that, that's, uh, you know, when you feel a certain way uh, around and you correlate with the environment, uh, and I can understand that completely because I have been in two decades into corporate. Uh, here's what I would like to share an experience while I was working with TCS um, is whenever the appraisal cycle used to come, uh, we had then about uh, two cycles in a year and there was six monthly appraisal and each time the appraisal used to come and there was the smart guy, you know, uh, who, would, uh, who, would, who, would, who would have done well, who was very smart enough and he would come out and say, oh God, it's not working today. It's, it's not done this time. It's and backside on his paper. It was something different, really different. I have kept away from really thinking around what's into his paper or what into his thought, but I could really make it that it is not something very correct. That information has been passed. Usually the information is passed across by this one person and then it goes across the corners of the office and then you feel because it's it's actually a comparison why does a toxicity or a stress really comes around it is somewhere the drop has been put across and then you feel i am not there or i have been not given the justified treatment the justified appraisal and you started feeling come on this is not the environment this is this is really bad uh, no, it's, it's, it's not that. You need to be a little more smarter. And this uh, book really would speak across. On the third part, you would find life essential skills. And um, I would narrate this another incident which I heard in one of the speech of our um, Union Minister for Transport, Mr. Nitin Gadkari ji, uh, where in his speech he said, Tum hamesha kehte ho, politics sari jagah pe hai. But my brother, politics is in all places. Politics is in the office, politics is 
फैमिली में होगा पॉलिटिक्स भाइयों में होता है यू नो इमीडिएट फैमिली मेंबर्स में होता है विच आई यू कैन रिलेट यू नीड टू बी स्मार्ट इनफ टू डील विद इट एंड द लाइफ एसेंशियल स्किल दैट वी हैव इन पार्ट थ्री माइट बी ऑफ हेल्प टू आंसर द इन इन मोर briefly about how do you deal with toxicity uh, in the first one i would suggest is uh, to to take is find out that smart guy who is pushing this and don't take don't buy in everything stay away from this stay a little more calmer and you you play your own game uh, and and that would lead you to keep those years away from the toxicity when you are at peace with your own self i think uh, that's going to help of course uh, yeah of course yes a big time okay so since you just mentioned you know that you have been in the corporate world for more than does uh, that experience help in writing uh, this book coming up with this book i to did understand the half of you said you have worked into into 20 years into corporate and this book has yeah i was saying uh, you worked in the corporate for more than two decades so did that experience help in writing this particular book yes of course uh, i have i have worked for some of the brilliant uh, one of the big mncs uh, but tcs i have worked for general mills uh, who happens to have the brand of pillsbury i have worked for uh, fragrance and flavors giants and uh, and these these are mncs Uh, they taught me a lot the first one and, and i'll be very honest the first one is i uh, i got my livelihood which is which is money uh, and which is big part after graduating uh, doing the post graduation earning your livelihood and 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 setting up uh, your leg in society becomes very important and that um, led me to find my stand in in society uh so yeah big time of course money have helped in then of course adding the skills these corporate giants uh, ensure that you're taken care of well they provide you uh, insurance uh, they provide you uh, do they provide you facilities to grow uh, of course when we speak uh, about our indian giant tcs they are are are, are an employees company you know but you if, if you work for tcs you would you would uh, anyone who has worked uh, would relate this uh, and and they nurture you well and ensure that that you grow um, and of course you see this uh, language that i have learned i feel somewhere down the line the corporate was, was was a big role player and if i have to come down what corporate really gave me it gave me as well the leaders that i have seen in the corporate um one of the leader that that uh, developed me as as a as a task manager as a as a flamboyant speaker as a charismatic uh, leader uh, was one of the boss but again uh, he gave me a lot of tough time and i said oh that's the how the boss is i would one day i'll turn and i'll be tough then i meet another gentleman who happens to be a people leader uh, mr rajesh was a and he transformed me completely Uh, he he was um, a people leader uh, he gave me all the opportunities uh, he gave me all the nourishment to grow and then i understood the leader is far more beyond than just a task manager or uh, or, or that balance sheet uh, you need to understand people a lot better give the up, the growth opportunities find uh, find time to talk one on one uh, and 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 give them opportunities what they would like to and that really comes up with time and and i learned it big time and it's um, and then i learned okay you have to be softer because he was softer uh, softer not very task master uh, but he was result driven and, and and he taught me couple of those tricks on how do you achieve results by ensuring the people that you lead uh, you be as a team player grab your team move forward ensuring you you have the that respect uh in the team and 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 these are the two big things that that I learned from corporate apart from of course the the material benefits that I received so i think having the right people around you uh plays a huge role of course uh, yes uh, uh, amazingly and and, uh, and one of the th- the uh, the question that you asked also leads me towards uh i've seen couple of talks going around a 9 to 5 job uh, working for companies come on Uh, let like grow up uh, grow up uh, we have to be very sure the company is giving us uh, 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 as uh, my money the material things for sure and somebody is driving those efforts and 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 constantly barging up across if things are not working that's how it, it is going to uh, to be coming to it's it's a cycle that would come through you you try tend to be positive and i'm sure not today not tomorrow but for sure the time would come and you would you would find your way 
Well, that's great advice. I think Urban Root Finder is like really unhappy with their manager because he's just written in the comments. Uh, the manager is particular targeting, uh, particularly targeting him. Maybe he's got some personal grudge. So, is it better that he should just leave the organization? Ah, I mean if you feel as if uh, it's personal uh, i i would suggest that and i would give you a, 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 a narration towards why uh, if you see let's take example i played cricket and i've, I've seen uh, so if uh, if a uh, sachin tendulkar has to be sachin tendulkar uh, you know of course he had talent uh, he had apart from talent of, of outside the field of course he's he's an ama amazing human being we all know uh, even ab about about virat kohli or ms dhoni it's about time. If you see those players around, during 90s, you needed an icon as a nation to look to. And we had Sachin Tendulkar. Uh, back in, in early 2000s, we needed a, uh, after, after Dada, uh, you know, we, we needed a captain who would help us winning. And you had this this uh, charismatic young player, uh, Ms. Dhoni, uh, who gets through. And after Dhoni, it, it's Virat Kohli. So, I would suggest that it, it, at times, however skills that you have, however talent that you have, or however good you're outside your field, it at times also has to be the environment. So if you feel that, I think uh, that's good too. But you, you'll find, find uh, your place for sure, if you search. Absolutely. So we've got another question. How did you get selected uh, into IIMA? Ah, that was another exciting part. I mean... Uh, again, trying to figure out whether the internet is not working on my end or uh, Mr. Vishal's. But let's just give it a few more seconds to work that out. Oh, I think it was Vishal, sir. I think I've gotten my answer. I think uh, his internet has got some error. But okay, uh, I'm sure he's going to join us very soon again. And uh, till then, I think uh, Mr. Vishal has got some amazing insights to share with us. He's answering everyone's questions amazingly. And honestly, I get it. Being into corporate for more than 20 years, you guys can get as much out of this live as he is getting. So let's just wait for him to join again. Uh, let me just send him an invite again. My God. Some days I'm just reminded of the old COVID days. But well. Yeah, uh, uh, Kanishka reads is telling me it's stuck. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me at least. I think it was uh, Vishal Sir's net that uh, has got some glitch. I hope you guys can hear me or see me. Okay, and someone, okay, okay, I think there is some error. Vishal sir is having some sort of trouble joining back, but no worries, guys. Stay put right there until we get sir back. And Thoughts of Crazy will definitely check out your book. I think it will help me a lot. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I think, again, uh, yes, this book is going to help anyone who's, you know, wanting to stick to their resolutions, wanting to stick to their promises uh, that they make to themselves and uh, to anyone who's in the corporate world. Hello. And I'm, sorry, back. I'm back. so sorry. That's it great. was my uh, internet which went bad. Uh, and, no worries, uh, so anyhow, no worries uh, at all. Okay, so no worries. Uh, I think the audience is uh, amazing. Uh, they're still stuck with us. So thank you guys for doing that. Thank you for being so patient. And yes, let's continue. Uh, yes. Uh, so uh, okay, <laughs> can you help me with the question? Uh, you know, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you were just telling someone, uh, how did you get into IMM? Uh, yes, uh, the, the first four days of, I, and I exactly got to know uh, why that institute is rated so high. Uh, there was some um, 
issue out there wherein few people had to had to shift the room and uh, the the co-chair of this uh, program comes up and she says in such a way that you feel oh we are taken care well and we have we have a batch size of 120 plus people out there uh, uh, but the admission and and the enrollment just went in in a, in a specific flow uh, and all the arrangements being done and of course uh, when i see the professors teaching out there with with that intensity and energy i mean that's what uh, makes me feel um, i'm at a good place uh, and and how did i get it i i applied across and interestingly what i know is um, there were a couple of of good hundreds of application came down and i was one of them which was selected uh, and i'm really blessed uh, i would say that the institute gave me a chance to be be a part of of uh, this uh, this program and i think of course i mean your talent has something to do with it i'm sure uh, thank you appreciate okay so we have another question from the audience is this your first book sir yes Okay. Yes, okay, that's great. And do you have any advice for uh, aspiring authors? Oh, uh, I would would have one piece of advice: give efforts on on writing. If you have a thought, if you have an idea, uh, definitely give a thought um, and and put an outline and give efforts and time. Uh, because at times uh, I feel that uh, we don't give enough time and uh, and we judge too of too often and that too badly that oh i am not capable i am it's not happening by me uh, book writing takes um uh, takes some time uh, some good uh, thought process and uh, yeah, but if you have that intent inside you would find the way uh, so i would feel put on a little more of time write the book and uh, and and go ahead do not leave that thought of, of book writing what happens though is if book comes good if it does not you would still be a writer because book would have around you to to make an edited you would have to at least write 400 500 pages out there uh, so uh, you know if you at least write half the way that means you uh, you can write at least 10 to 15 articles uh, why not so and that would okay, so that way. actually brings me uh, to my uh, to my next question. You know, you have a full time job. How did you manage your writing career with this? How how did you find time? Was there any routine you followed? What helped you exactly? Because writing again is a tedious process in itself. Yes. Uh, interestingly, uh, uh, I had some while I was publishing the book, I had some leverage and time and bandwidth uh, because I had ventured into into training and consulting. Uh, it's been about close to six months now. Uh, but before that, um, while I had the idea and I was actually writing down, uh, so yes, I did did follow a schedule. I used to find time, at least half an hour to to one hour of time, uh, to to ensure that I write. And I used to write it down, not on laptop, but we are, we are conditioned towards writing. I mean, writing paper, uh, 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 taking notes, writing papers. So that's how the thought flows. And uh, so, so I did. I used to have my physical uh, notebook and and write it down. Uh, and 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 even uh, my illustration. If you see in the book, uh, you would find that I, I have actually drawn those uh, initially. And then, of course, I leverage the the uh, the PPT uh, to make it come in, come in live in book. Uh, so, of course, you know, writing down down helps. And of course, the other one is big one is is reading, read. There is no better way to okay. grow. I, I'm like I, uh, I I heard this proverb or hi, we have it in Marathi. We have this uh, to be known uh, is um, the Watsa. That means I'll tell you. Uh, uh, that means if you read, you will live long. But it's more deeper than that. It's more deep than that, deeper than that, uh, because the time you read, there are several things happening. One is about uh, about you reading, your eyes moving across. Uh, the second one, the imagination comes big, and here's what uh, today when I when I speak with, uh, I do visit B schools as well, uh, and and I find those students saying that, sir, so today we have. Uh, have videos. We have reels. I watch a lot of reels, and we can we can, we have a lot many information, lot of information with us, uh, and I feel that really educates me well. However, said yes can be at times, but you know why we look towards the screen. 
uh, what's happening is we are looking to an image, our imaginary world, our, our mental images are not triggered. We are looking through and the reel is moving. It's more of entertainment. But if you want to really educate and learn, it's about book. Read and it would give that creative side, the, the pop in, in, in the mind, in the brain, that juices would flow, uh, which are necessary for life. Absolutely. So since you like reading so much and you advocate for it, was there any particular writer or you know author who has really influenced you, who, whose work you really like? I love, I love uh, Paulo Coelho. Uh, uh, I love uh, uh, his work. And uh, sometimes it happens, you read such an amazing author and then you say, oh God, uh, can, can I write? And uh, another author that, uh, that, uh, that I have, uh, he, he writes in, in Marathi, uh, Shivaji Savant, one of his books that I, I read, uh, Mrityunjay, uh, which is on Karna. Uh, Mrityunjay meaning uh, who has won the life and uh, or, or who has won the death uh, and that book is written so amazingly the, the first part of it uh, of description of Karna uh, and, and the, that I went into that imaginary world and I feel wow I, I would love to write someday in such a way and I guess that was during my college days the, 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 uh, the seed was sown and over the years, I've been reading books, the author, the modern one, Simon Sinek. Uh, and uh, uh, Simon Sinek is one uh, that I could uh, relate down to. Uh, and some of the, uh, some of the big, uh, you know, motivating, motivating speakers that I love is one of them is, is Tony Robbins. Uh, and, and then the other couple of months, if I if I missed on even Stephen Covey, sir, uh, the seven habits of highly effective people. Come on, uh, that, that was again an influential one because uh, in his book, he shared some of his incidents of his life. And, I, I, and so amazingly, so simple one and so amazingly shared. I mean, I've been meditating for, for now, uh, now about, about two decades. I have such experiences, I could narrate them well. And I guess that was one of the core connect that I said, oh, I can write now. And, and that's when I ventured. Okay. So uh, we have another question from the audience and uh, we'll just merge that into another question that I had. Uh, were there any chapters that were particularly difficult to write? And again, my question was, were there any challenges that you faced while writing uh, this book? So, uh, Yes. So I have divided this book in about uh, four parts. The first part is about uh, my spiritual journey where I have shared spiritual wisdom, uh, stories uh, and, and some of the the energy experiments that, that I have seen and uh, I have experimented on and some of the stories to, to connect on, on the spiritual side of it. The second part comes of which speaks on mind, the power of subconscious mind. And there is a lot of technical stuff which is written, uh, written down. And the third part is about life essential skills, which, I, which has come big from the corporate world. And the fourth part I, I have concluded across on, on the resolution. So writing the second part was, was challenging, uh, power of, of mind. Uh, wherein I have I have dared to touch the concept of conscious mind, subconscious mind, and also unconscious mind. So I have read uh, this book of Joe Dispenza, and uh, he has amazingly mentioned about about conscious mind and subconscious mind. I have ventured a little deeper uh, in unconscious mind as well, uh, keeping the language a little more softer uh, and and giving examples and stories out there i think that was one of one of the difficult part of the book writing down the, the, that one so when you know when someone writes a book uh, they do a lot of research of course and during the process of the research they get to know a lot of stuff about themselves as well so was there anything like you know when you were studying about the mind especially that you got to learn something about your own self ah uh, amazing, yeah, but, uh, wonderful question, uh, one Shikha, uh, amazing. So uh, yes, there, there were a couple of things and and, uh, and and one predominantly thing that that I could uh, could could connect back is, uh, you know, sometimes you give a lot of credit to your own self and uh, and that is due to some person who has influence in your life. Influence can come in part of energy when you're just sitting there and, and you know, and, and, and that person is actually so charismatic that his, his energies are, is, are grappling you. Uh, so, and some of the advices 
or some of the conversation that you have heard that this was one man my grandfather uh, who used to practice uh, his routines he lived until his age of 97 and uh, he used to do, do his daily practices until until he was about to die in about, about two weeks of time he used to get up at five do his spiritual practices do his physical exercises and do his mantra chantings and by the time I, I was uh, I was a teenager then and, uh, and a small kid I used to just listen it out I know at times and I used to feel oh what's what's going on but you know um, he influenced me big time and and I understand him now uh, what it really means to you know um, walk the path so that it is influenced up so if you are if you have a light in you don't worry about about giving advices to to, to the person the light is going to be passed and i guess that torch that light really has shown me a path when i was in my darkest of time and that that really showed me uh, the path and i feel uh, somewhere down the line i own a big gratitude to to the grandfather so yeah and i know from our conversation earlier your grandparents hold um, you know a place of importance huge importance in your life so how did they feel when you know you finally told them that uh, you were writing a book this is going to happen you know you're going to be a published author soon ah uh, yeah uh, so um, I, i'm like you know i do not have, so my grandfather uh, and mother both passed away at their age of of 97 and my grandmother 90 plus so uh, I, I mean it's been been years uh, because they they were with me when i, I was teen and uh, they helped me uh, during those days because i had lost my mother and father uh, at an early age so they brought me up and uh, and that's how so so if if i have to have the immediate family i have my uh, my wife of course my daughter and 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 my close relatives who actually help me to to be uh, who i am and uh, uh, you know uh, so it's it's been a journey so so my guardians as well help me um, who has a, has a school in 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 my hometown uh, in thane uh, they run a school and they took care of me for a couple of years while i was i was schooling and in college uh, so, so his, so he, and, and believe me, his age is now 70 plus. He had a bypass last year. He was there for the book launch and, uh, he was most excited, uh, to be there. So he took a drive uh, to, from, from Mumbai to Goa and he came for the, for the book launch. And I was, you know, that, that, that's the time I got to know, oh, this is something that, uh, I have done well. Absolutely. Absolutely, you know, the sense of accomplishment that comes with it after, I mean, of course, it's your baby, your book is, you know, it's a piece of art that you have created. So I think congratulations yeah. on that, especially. Thank you. And, uh, okay, we've got another question from the audience. What do you hope the readers take away from your book? I mean, the, the first, and, and the, if I have to, to market this book <laughs> in, in a very strict sense, that is going to be, how do you manifest your resolution? Usually we take resolutions uh, in form of, of, of New Year and we have been hearing about that. Uh, so we, when, when somebody asks, what's your New Year resolution? We say, okay, I have to, uh, to get healthy. I would be going down to gym uh, uh, or, or taking an admission to an institute or getting enrolled for a course or, or, or uh, having a six pack ab or, uh, or, or looking in a certain way. Now, uh, all these being true and, and great. Uh, so the question one is how do you take that resolution we are never taught of taking this resolution and i have learned this one uh, while i was uh, while i was, was initiated into, into uh, spiritual practices which is called as shri vidya sadhana and that man uh, mr uh, govind harnar but uh, who who taught me how do you meditate who gave me those beach mantras to to do meditation and he used to to run yagya and then he used to uh, to uh, to do a small uh, small act or or small um, you know, initiation when he used to ask his disciples or whoever used to visit to take a sankalpa and he used to say that this uh, you take a sankalpa a vow in a certain way having the spiritual uh, the coconut in your hand uh, repeat that that uh, uh, that that resolution that you want to take or you want to achieve and then back it up with your spiritual uh, mantra or, or, or uh, and that would come true and of course he would be uh, you know there is yakke going across and and he would be uh, pouring that into the uh, the the uh, the fire 
now uh, over the years i've been I've been practicing the spiritual practice and what i have i have i have learned across is sankalpas is uh, or or resolution it's not something that we have to take in at a certain time or um, at a, at a certain certain way altogether but we can take sankalpas while while we are talking while we are on 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 road while we are are Uh, uh, within our own self so i have mentioned five to six different types of ways wherein you can take sankalpa in a holistic way so what happens is there is conscious mind and there is subconscious mind mind something which comes out from a subconscious mind you do not need to practice it consciously because anything moving consciously there's a like from 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 our, our very own being you don't have to do it as a work it just comes across as a second habit uh, just like like mother taking care of her child do uh, the mother has to be told that you need to take care of child no it it comes up uh, you know so if something that that drops in uh, let's uh, the biggest example if if a car passes down if a fancy car and and you are in in, in you feel oh wow that this is the car that i want how do you drop that you in your subconscious mind and just leave it there and you would see that thing would some day sometime in some way would come true uh, of course uh, but i do not say it is going to be an overnight or uh, it would come as um, as a miracle it certainly takes takes time it certainly takes efforts to do it for sure but something which comes out from the subconscious mind it comes very holistically okay that's great so uh, coming towards the end of the live i think this has been an amazing and insightful session for everyone and i personally got to learn a lot from you sir so thank you so much for that uh to everyone watching uh guys the book resolution 2.0 is live on amazon flipkart and luro stores so make sure to go check it out i mean uh, the audience was amazing today and uh, they make sure uh, to make the make uh, to make the most out of today's session so thank you so much for doing this with us sir it was lovely talking to you thank and, you once again uh, anything that you would like to say before we leave ah uh, yes uh, uh... uh the final thoughts uh, that comes down to my mind is um, the a big thank you uh, for 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 getting this session done manshika and of course uh, the blue rose publishers and and for the Absolutely. people who are being around uh, that that's big and that really helps uh, so hopefully uh, this book really helps you uh, in your life um, I, i'm sure it's it's at times you feel like you know uh, some a uh, book uh can change life and some book uh, can leave you with a thought if i can leave you with a thought i am still good at uh, so and and i'm sure this book would leave you with a thought and if it can change somebody's life i would be overwhelmed and uh, and for sure be in in all the gratitude and and all the 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 learnings that i have taken from the spiritual uh, knowledge uh, that i have gained over the years uh that that's there in this book and for sure it is going to help at that very core uh that energy to burst across and 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 help you uh in your journey so so big blessings and and thank you for 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 being here uh in in all the the gratitude and 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 humbleness uh thank you with all thank you thank you so much sir and congratulations on all the best for your book and guys again leaving you with that make sure to go check out resolution 2.0 sankalpa on amazon flipkart and duro stores and once again if any of you wish to write and get your work published make sure to dm us and we will take care of the rest thank you so much we will meet you guys very soon with another author another story thank you so much sir thank you yeah thank you once again